Hey everyone, thanks for joining me in this quick video and I hope you're somewhere a bit warmer than I am now because I am out and about in about minus three degrees taking some photographs of the stars. I've got my camera set up here as you can see photographing and I am currently taking pictures that look a little something like this. And I know what you're thinking, you're probably thinking, that's great Dave, but you know, what use is that to me? You're using £2,000 worth of camera equipment to get those photos and you are right in some respects however i am going to prove to you right now that you can get the same sort of photos using nothing but your phone so the first thing you're going to need to do is check your camera app on your phone that you're using and make sure it gives you fully manual controls if it doesn't go and download one that does so all you need to do open your camera app select it into manual mode take your iso settings and put it to as high as your iso will allow you Change your shutter speed, around about 20 seconds will be the limit for a phone. And then find your focus settings and just default it to infinity. Because you're photographing the stars, that is as far as you need to go. Once you've done all that, find somewhere to prop the phone up. Either lie it face down on the ground so the camera's pointing straight up in the air. Or prop it up against something so it's pointing towards the sky. Set yourself a timer of 5 or 10 seconds, something like that, so you can set the camera to start capturing and then get away from it so there's no vibrations or anything in your shot. Hit delay timer, you put the phone down, and you run away. And I'll see you in 30 seconds. So there we are. That is the photo that I have just taken. Proof that you don't need a very expensive camera to take pictures of the stars. Yes, having a better camera does give you better photographs, but that's not to say you can't take good pictures as long as you do them in the right manner. Good tip as well, if you live in the middle of a city or a heavily built up area, there's going to be a lot of light pollution. So just get yourself out of the city. It doesn't need to be miles away. The lights that you can see in the background are the city that I live in. So I've just come up a couple of miles away into a dark quarry to take these pictures. There's just not as much light around. So that's all you do, guys. Find yourself a clear night in a dark spot. Wait for no moon. Get your phone out take some pictures so i'll see you later guys i'm off to find somewhere warm